Hey guys, RB the Garden Nanny. I am wanting to do this video because to me, this is one of the things in the garden that really, really, really bugs me, and that is aphids. I have tried so many things with trying to eliminate the aphids from even appearing on my roses. I love roses and apparently aphids do too. Why, I do not know, I have not researched that. They love it. And in the spring, when the roses are just coming out, they are so beautiful. It's because there are no aphids out at that time. In the spring, it's just, they have free reign to just be as beautiful as they want to be. And that's when I take all of my beautiful pictures. And that's when I really, really get a chance to enjoy them. Now we are in summer and the aphids are out now. It's humid, it's hot, it's um, that time of the year for them. I believe they start as little grubs in the, in, the, in the ground and then they just appear. And I don't just have one aphid sitting on top of my roses and on the petals and all that. There are loads of them all over the petals and you can't enjoy them. What this video is all about is I am learning to enjoy my roses in the spring outdoors and indoors. I will start, I started bringing my uh, roses inside. I would uh, take them when they, the buds are not even open. I would cut them, the stem, and I would just bring them into the house and put them in water. So yeah, that is what I am doing now. I'm enjoying my roses in, indoors. And not only that, I didn't realize how wonderful the roses smell. You know, I didn't get that. I mean, unless I'm outside and putting my nose right up against it, that's when I'm, I can smell it. But when I bring them indoors, I am really enjoying the smell of the roses. Um, a lot of them I have, to, I have to throw away because the aphids have just devoured it. And so I just want to turn the camera around and show you what my roses are looking like indoors. And if you are having this issue, if you notice that in the spring your roses are just beautiful, but in the summer they are just horrible. I would suggest doing the same thing. Now, you can't do it for all of your roses if you have a whole bunch. I mean, you can, but that would take a lot of time and effort and all that kind of thing. I now am not using any type of pesticides. I'm not using uh, any of the organic methods to keep the aphids because I have found that they, they're going to come back regardless. And I am done <laughs> wasting a lot of money and time doing that. So... And I'm not just going to frustrate myself every time I go out into my sanctuary, which is my garden, and be frustrated because of all the aphids. No, I'm just going to let them run their course, do what they need, but do what they do. But I'm going to bring in my roses so that I can enjoy it. So let me turn the camera around and let you see what I'm working with. These are my beautiful roses that I brought indoors from outside. Now, this is what they looked like when I first brought them indoors. They were barely open. And for some reason, when these are outdoors like this, the aphids just sit in all the different uh, layers of the petals. And they just, oh, it just looks so hideous. But, um... I got these, I brought them in when they were just like this. And now they're sitting in this vase and it's just opening up when they want to and they're not hindered by anything, by any pest. I'm able to uh, enjoy the wonderful fragrance that they bring. And so, yeah, this is just something I wanted to share with you all. If you all are having this issue, if you notice that in the spring, the aphids are not out, that's when you can really enjoy your roses. And then when the aphids start coming out in the summer, 
bring your roses in and enjoy this beautiful display of goodness because that's exactly what it is. It smells good. And I can see why the aphids would go for them because they are just, they smell wonderful. They look wonderful. And so I have so many here in this, in this vase and they're free. They are free for me to enjoy. And so this is my tactic that I am going to, um, take part in when the summer gets here. And so I'm just encouraging you, if you have that same issue, take it upon yourself and do the same thing. I have another uh, vase in my office. Let me go show you that one. Okay, this is a smaller vase, but nonetheless, it still smells great. Oh, it smells so good. And I wish I could tell you the names of these roses, but when I used to buy roses, I would just get them based on the picture that I saw in the package. And because I had so many of them, I really didn't keep track of all the names. But um, the only one that I really keep track of is my David Austin rose. I have one David Austin rose that only comes up in the spring and then it does not rebloom. So the aphids are not on that at all because there's nothing really to be on except for the leaves if that's something that they want to do. But in the spring, that David Austin rose, I will flash a picture of what it looked like in the spring. And there was no aphids. So it was able to just show off. It was able to just have its way over the in the springtime. So if this video has been a help to you, please give it a thumbs up. And, and you know, if you have roses and you've experienced that, maybe you'll just enjoy them in the spring and bring them inside in the summer. Why not? They are yours and they are free and they are beautiful. And so why not? Thanks guys for watching. And I hope this video has been a help to you and I will see you in the next video.